Copyright 2014 Math Diagnostics and Intervention, All Rights Reserved. We're going to take a look at the Pythagorean Theorem. And what the Pythagorean Theorem says is that if I have a right triangle of some sort, and I have legs A and B and hypotenuse C, that we can find the relationship a squared plus b squared will always equal c squared. Now what this will let us do is it will let us find the missing length of a right triangle if we have the other two. For example, if I have a right triangle that is this length is 5, this length is 12, I know two lengths of the triangle and the side I'm missing is my C, the hypotenuse. So we'll call A5 and we'll call B12. So we're going to follow the Pythagorean Theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared and 5 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared. 25 plus 144 equals c squared. 169 equals c squared. Take the square root of both sides and 13 is equal to c. So we found the length of our hypotenuse knowing the lengths of the two legs. However, we can also find the length of one of the legs if we know the hypotenuse and the other leg. Let's take a look at this example. And let's orient our triangle a little differently this time because our triangle can be oriented any way we want to have it in space. Uh, that wasn't a very good right triangle. Let's try that again. There we go. And let's say that our hypotenuse is 10 and one of our legs is 6. So the side opposite the 90 is the hypotenuse. We'll call that C. We'll call the 6A and we'll call the missing side length B. Once again we'll, we'll apply the Pythagorean Theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And plug and chug. A is equal to 6 b is our unknown and c is equal to 10. 6 squared is 36 b squared is still unknown 10 squared is 100 subtract 36 from both sides of the equation and we get b squared is equal to 64 take the square root of both sides and b is equal to 8 However, our values don't have to be integers. So let's take a look at another right triangle and let's orient our right triangle this way in space this time. And let's say that our hypotenuse is 5 and one of our legs is a square root of 3. We don't know the other leg. Our hypotenuse the side opposite the 90, that's C. We'll call our missing side length A this time and we'll call the square root of 3 our other leg B. Once again the Pythagorean Theorem says that if we have a right triangle then A squared plus B squared will equal C squared. We plug in our values, we don't know A. We know that B is the square root of 3 and then we're going to square that and C is 5 and we're going to square that a squared plus 3 equals 25. Subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. A squared is equal to 22. Take the square root of both sides and A is equal to the square root of 22. And we can take a look at another example. Let's take a look at a right triangle where one of our sides is 
4 over 9 and our hypotenuse is 5 over 9. We're going to take a look at this again as 4 ninths, let's make that A, let's make our missing side B, and our hypotenuse is C. Once again, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A is 4 ninths, 4 over 9 squared, plus B squared, we don't know, equals 5 over 9 squared. 16 over 81 plus b squared equals 25 over 81. Subtract 16 over 81 from both sides. b squared is equal to 9 over 81 and we can either take the square root of both sides now or we can write this in lowest terms. I'll take the square root of both sides now. b squared is equal to 3 over 9. Write 3 over 9 in lowest terms and that would be 1 third. So our missing side length is 1 third. Notice that there's nothing special. We can handle fractions. This will also work with decimals. Remember the Pythagorean theorem says that in a right triangle if I know any two lengths I can find the third length by the relationship of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. If you remember the formula and that it applies to only right triangles you will have very little difficulty. Good luck.